like to thank you all for coming here. This is uh, means a lot to me. Um, for some reason, the Ottawa police have decided to charge myself with four counts of criminal charges. I can't remember exactly what they are. I'll find that out right now as I head into Niagara uh, Region Police Station here in Grimsby to uh, turn myself in. My uh, youngest ones are here with me and my wife, as well as all these beautiful people uh, behind the camera. But um, kind of an emotional week finding out from uh, a police officer in Niagara that the Ottawa police have put out a, a warrant for my arrest for our uh, involvement in a beautiful, peaceful, wonderful convoy that gave so many Canadians hope and joy. Now, I'll, I'll head back in. The, uh, the, the, the sergeant did say it. It's just me as allowed in there. And, and that's understandable. They're, they're uh, trying to do a job, which is not easy for them, I'm sure, either. And hopefully it doesn't take too long. I uh, don't want to miss the Leafs game tonight. And for sure, I do not want to miss my uh, daughter doing her profession of faith in church. So that's why I came back from BC to, uh, to be here for my daughter and ended up having to do this as well. Thanks. Hey, okay. love you guys. Yeah, thanks. Love you. Gideon. Hey, Gavin. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, Harold Jonker here, and I just came out of the uh, Niagara Police Station. I've been uh, officially charged with four counts of criminal charges, one count of mischief, obstruct property, one count of intimidation by blocking or uh, or obstructing highway, and then two counts of counsel, counsel and uncommittable, no, sorry, counsel and uncommitted indictable offense, whatever that means. We'll find out when we go to Ottawa, I imagine. They did give me a bit of a summary of the, 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 the charges, but they don't really say much more than what I just read there. For the purpose of compelling one or more persons to abstain from doing anything that the person has a lawful right to do. Um, the other ones are counseling and uncommittable. Did counsel to commit the indictable offense of mischief? I'm a mischievous person, I guess. And did counsel to commit the indictable offense of intimidation, which offense was not committed by one or more persons? And then they all didn't, the they didn't do the crime. No. Even though you can counsel to it. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty confusing, but I think this is what all the other wonderful leaders of the convoy were charged with. And I'm very thankful to uh, have my wife here. My family was here as well. And a bunch of uh, my drivers are drivers from Jonker Trucking and um, friends, as well as the former mayor of West Lincoln. And yeah, May 10th, 2023, I have to go to Ottawa to turn myself in. I've just signed a bond, or how do they call that? A uh, yeah, a bond saying that I will appear on May 10th at nine, you know, at 8:30 at a courtroom, and then at nine o'clock I have an appointment to get my fingers printed. So. I'll try to have make sure they're in good shape for that. We are. Uh, I was thankful for the uh, the reception I received here, not just from a bunch of the people from West Lincoln and and the surrounding area, but also from the officers here. And very thankful that I was able to have an officer that uh, read out the charges, and but also at the end we were able to have a brotherly hug in the Lord and yeah we're concerned this is not easy but at the same time we know that our Heavenly Father takes care of us and yeah May 10th in Ottawa also I'll be in Ottawa now May 11th for uh, March for Life 
You can become a Western Standard member for just $10 a month or $99 a year for unlimited access.